Hey what's up you guys, it's Judy here with my life as Geek Eye on this channel. I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join the Geek Eye family and if you're here returning to my channel, then welcome back. Today's video is going to be episode number one in my series, Ask Judy. So this is basically a Q&A series. I don't know how this series is going to go, but the response to my Ask Judy introduction where I said to you guys, ask me any and every question that you comes to mind and I will answer them here on this series. The response was quite overwhelming. I had a lot of questions. You guys came through with some really good juicy questions and I actually have quite a few that I'm going to have to break this video up in two parts. So I had questions on my Instagram as well as in the comments of my Ask Judy introduction video. So yeah, I'm gonna answer some of your questions. This is gonna be episode number one And if you ask questions in that first introduction video and they didn't get answered then your questions will be answered in Episode number two, which I will be filming right after this one So I'm gonna have the same makeup and the same top and just like yeah, whatever before I go any further If you guys do enjoy my videos, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I do put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday So you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of them are Life is Geek and you can also send through your questions for Ask Judy on any of those social media platforms. I will get your DMs. Hopefully on Twitter I will because like I've been having problems with my Twitter. But anyway, before I answer any of your questions, I just want to say I'm so happy that you guys actually came through with some questions for me. Like the first time I did a post on Instagram saying ask me questions, no one really asked me anything. But now I have such a lovely following of some really beautiful people and both Instagram and YouTube and you guys are the best. I love you. I appreciate you and now I'm gonna answer all your questions. The first seven questions here are from Liquor Black Roses. Hi Rosalyn, if you're watching this, mwah, sending me loving kisses. Thanks for all the seven questions that you sent me. So the first question is, you said you are half American Filipino, so what culture do you feel more near with and are you bilingual? Well, I don't actually remember saying that I'm half American because I don't think I ever did because I'm not. <laughs> I'm fully Filipino. My parents were born and raised in the Philippines, hence my full blood is Filipino, but I was born and raised here in Australia. I don't think I have an American accent. Maybe I do sometimes. A lot of people when I'm at work say, hey, are you American? Were you born in America? And I'm like, uh, no, I just speak with an American accent because I was homeschooled, didn't have the influence of other Australian kids, so I don't have the Australian accent, except for when I'm at work and I've been speaking to Australians and the accent comes on and yeah, whatever. But I'm not half American, I'm fully Filipino. What culture do you feel more near with? Well, I really identify closely with the Australian culture because I was born and raised here. I work a full-time job, I'm not traditional in really any sense of the word. I suppose I'm Filipino traditional in the sense of with the word that I'm close to my parents, I love my siblings, family is really, really important to me. But yeah, I probably identify more closely with the Australian culture than anything else. And are you bilingual? Yes, I can speak a bit of Tagalog. I can probably understand it better than I can speak Tagalog. If you've seen my Tagalog makeup tutorial, then that was an absolute hot mess disaster. Foundation. If you're Filipino, then you'll know from that video that I cannot speak Tagalog very, very well. I can sort of speak it, but I can understand it better than I can speak it. Does that make sense? I hope that answers your question, Rosalind. Question number two, if someone is passing through a hard time with anxiety and depression, how could you help them? Oof. Girl, this question is loaded. Like for the second question answered in this entire series, that is one loaded one. Well, to anyone who struggles with anxiety and depression, I guess all I can say is that you're gonna get through it. I know everybody says that you're gonna get through it, you're gonna come out on the other side a better and a stronger person, but it is a real thing and it is really tangible in your mind. It is almost a physical struggle in your brain and I get it, like I've been there before. So I guess all I can say to you is that you just gotta keep yourself busy. Don't allow yourself to succumb to the dark and the depressing thoughts. I know it can be really hard. Sometimes you just wanna lay there and not do anything and just 
cry and just be anxious and it feels like nothing is gonna help you but I will say that while the struggle in your mind is very very real I still believe that you can get through it and that you can get yourself out of that hole you can get yourself out of that rut of constantly thinking in a depressing way surround yourself with happy people with positive people don't listen to songs that make you sad um, don't read books that give you an unrealistic expectation of love and romance and relationships in life. Find audiobooks on inspirational speakers, people who have gone through really difficult times in their life and they're speaking inspirationally about it. Listen to those things. Constantly positively affirm yourself. I'm just gonna share right here. I'm just gonna like go through this. There was a moment in my life not that long ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, where I was feeling really, really anxious about something something was making me really anxious and it wasn't even that big of a deal. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Taking public transport makes me really, really anxious. Just the thought of it, just the thought of traveling to a place where I'm not familiar with makes me really, really anxious. And a situation came up in my life where someone wanted me to take public transport and visit them in the big city. And this situation really got me worked up, it got me anxious, and I was really, really upset. I was actually crying, I was sobbing, I was like, I can't do this. And it was ridiculous, right? I mean, it's public transport. People do it every single day. But my point of saying this is that anything can set you off. Anything can cause anyone anxiety, just like even the smallest things. While my brain was going haywire and I was just like, this is stupid. But I got through that moment. I tried, I started to breathe, focused on my breathing, brought my heart rate, tried to bring my heart rate back down. And I sat there and I was still crying. And I said to myself out loud, you've got this. You don't have to do this right now, but when you're ready, you are going to do this. One day you're gonna take public transport, you are probably gonna have an anxiety attack while you're doing it, but you are gonna do it and you're gonna face that fear. While I know anxiety is something that just really can trigger anytime, anywhere, any moment, anything, you just gotta really positively affirm to yourself that you are strong, you have strength in you, even though you don't feel it right now. You have strength in you, it is within yourself and that strength to pull yourself up comes from you. Surrounding yourself by positive people, positive reaffirmations, uplifting music and positive activities, while well, you can do all of that, none of that is gonna help unless you wanna help yourself. You've gotta help yourself. And it is a struggle, it is a battle, but you can do it. I know that you can do it and I can say that because I've been there myself. And I'm not just saying this because, you know, it's what people say, but I have very consciously reached almost felt like I was reaching down inside my brain and being like you've got this you're gonna get yourself out of this you're gonna get through this and you are strong you have strength in you that you don't realize you have until you dig deep down and know that you've got this I know that was a very long answer to your question but I hope that helps I really hope that helps I hope it's not just me flinging empty words around but you gotta know that I've been through this stuff myself as well. So I'm saying it with absolute truth from the bottom of my heart. So yeah, that's question number two. <laughs> question number three, do you enjoy animated movies? Because I wanted to ask this because I know several adults who like them like me. <laughs> animated movies, are you talking about like Pixar or Disney? Because I do, I love animated movies. Like a movie that people don't talk a lot about is Coco. I love that movie, it is so cool. Like I love it because it talks about the cultural aspect of a lot of things. You know how Moana talks about the cultural aspect of the people um, oh, what are the people in that movie? Anyway, you know the people I'm talking about in that movie. If that's the sort of animated movie you're talking about, then yes, I really do enjoy those sort of movies. And that's just the inner child in me coming out. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> Question number four. Do you consider yourself a feminist? Whew, I'm gonna start the drama on this channel. Well, everything I say in answer to these questions is full 100% honesty and me. So don't go jumping down my throat because everybody's entitled to their opinion. Do I consider myself a feminist? No, I do not. In this day and age, I feel like feminism has created quite a negative connotation for itself, where it's women who are being like, I'm a strong independent woman and I don't need no man. Well, maybe for certain things you don't. You don't need a man for certain things, but girl, if you wanted to get pregnant, one way or another, you need a man. We all have our strengths and differences. I will be the first to admit when I've got a strength in a certain area where a man doesn't, and I will also be the first to admit when I need help doing something. For example, at work, I work with a very large group of both males and females, 
or people who identify as males and females, sometimes I will need help. Like there's a lot of lifting boxes and things like that at work. Sometimes there will come a box that comes along where I cannot lift it myself because it's just too heavy for me. So I'll ask one of my male colleagues and be like, hey, can you help me out with this? Like I'm not that strong and independent that I will hurt myself trying to prove that I can do something just as well as a man can. No, that's just dumb. That's just stupid. Whoever you are, you've got your strengths and you've got your weaknesses. I don't personally identify myself as a feminist, but I mean like hell yeah. I'll be the first to say that everything I have gained in my life, everything that I have achieved, everything that I own, I did all of that myself. And this isn't because I'm a feminist, this isn't because oh I'm a woman and I can prove that I can do all of these things on my own. No, this is because I'm just, this is because I want to improve myself as a person. And I believe that that's a mentality that anybody should have, whether you're a man or a woman. It doesn't matter what you identify yourself as. Whatever you are, whatever you think, whatever you do, just do it to the very best of your ability. Be a good person. I don't like to call myself a feminist again because it has a negative connotation. And yeah, I don't know, this is... Uh, does that answer your question? That was a really stupid answer, I guess. I'm neither a feminist or um, someone who lets men run me over. I'm not a doormat in any way, shape or form. I am an individual. That's what I identify as. I am an individual. Question number five, have you received hate on the internet? I guess so. I mean, who hasn't? If you put yourself out on the internet, then you will receive hate in some way, shape or form. I haven't really received any nasty private messages or DMs on Instagram. I'll get a random comment on some of my videos where people will be like, Oh, oh you're such a try hard. This has been done before. And you don't really know what you're doing. Or, I suggest you blend your makeup more because it doesn't look very nice. You'll get negative comments like that, but I've been really lucky so far that everyone who has commented on my videos are such lovely people like you guys watching you guys who left these questions you guys are amazing i honestly could not ask for a better key guy family than i do have so i've been really really fortunate i think the only places where i have received what you could call hate are when i leave comments on other youtubers videos where i've made a comment and some people take such offense to it or have misconstrued my words completely missed the point or misunderstood of the comment that i meant to say and they'll be like oh you know and just go at it and then people will jump down their throats because they understood because those people understood what I meant to say and then it just starts a whole thing. So whenever I do comment on other people's videos, I do try and say them in such a way that is not non-controversial or say it in a way that is implicitly clear about what I meant to say. So yeah, that's really the only places where I've received hate. I know as I continue to grow in social media, I will face it more and more. I know it's gonna come because it's the internet and there's all kinds of people on the internet, but I feel like I'm prepared for it. I'm not so thin-skinned that, that those sort of comments will get me down. I believe that I've gone through enough shit in my life that those sort of comments on the internet won't get to me in a way that I know that they have bothered a lot of other YouTubers. Yeah, so far I have not received any massive hate on the internet. Question number six, what little things can make your day better? Well, honestly, anything could make your day better. Think about what you enjoy. Makeup makes me happy. I was feeling a little bit down this morning, so I filmed this makeup tutorial. It's probably already up on my channel. This is my Olympia Valance Dancing with the Stars inspired makeup look. Yeah, I was feeling a little down, so I played with makeup. What little things can make you happy? Listen to some happy music. Listen to some good music. If you enjoy dancing, put on some music that, you know, makes you want to shimmy and get your groove on and have a little bit of a dance to that. Go for a walk. Walking and listening to some happy music can really get your mood up. Not only that, Physically moving, getting your endorphins going will immediately put your mind in a better place because you've got endorphins and adrenaline going through your brain. It's not sluggish. I like going out and hanging out with friends. I also enjoy a bit of retail therapy sometimes. If you don't have a lot of money to spend on retail therapy, I don't know, go to an op shop. You can get a lot of things and not spend a lot of money. It's also good to budget a little bit for when you know you need that retail therapy. Like if you're a girl like me who enjoys retail therapy then obviously then you'll need to budget for that sort of thing and I know it sounds ridiculous but I do budget for that sort of thing I still keep a cap on it I still try and be responsible with my money but I do budget for those moments when I need a bit of retail therapy just to give me a little bit of a pick-me-up and a bit of a 
you know, a smile again. Because who doesn't like new things? Sometimes things like tidying up your house or decluttering your life can make your day better. I know that decluttering my makeup, tidying up my house, cleaning my kitchen, washing my dishes, doing my laundry, just getting those things done can make my day better as well because I feel like I've actually accomplished something. It might be just things that, you know, everybody's gotta do, but it, it does make me feel better. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. Question number seven, have you had any paranormal experience? Do you believe in ghosts or entities? Well, I'll answer the second part of that question first. Yes, I believe in ghosts and entities. I do believe that these things are a part of reality. There have been enough stories and experiences in the world to know that these things are real. Whether they're ghosts or evil spirits or anything like that, I believe that these things exist because if you believe that there are there's such thing as good vibes, the universe, looking after you, that sort of thing. For everything, there is an equal and opposite reaction. So if there is good in the world, which I believe there is good in the world, then you gotta know, understand that there is also bad in the world. While I believe in angels, I also believe in evil spirits, bad vibes, bad feelings, all of that sort of thing. As far as me personally experiencing them, I haven't personally seen anything of that sort of nature, but I have been in situations where I have felt a really cold feeling. I have felt a really bad vibe. I've felt that something is looking at me. Probably the most real experience that I can relay to you guys as far as experiencing that really bad vibe is years ago I was boarding a room in this old lady's house. She was away a lot of the time so I was basically house sitting for her. This lady kept her mother's ashes in her bedroom in a little urn by the side of her bed and uh, I always kept that door closed. I never ever ever went into that room so there was just this room in this house that I was house sitting that had someone's ashes in it. So while I was boarding in that house, one night I woke up in the middle of the night, all of a sudden there was no one else in the house. It was just me there. And I woke up and I felt like there was something watching me. I felt something like, it felt like someone touched my foot. You know how sometimes mums come in the room and they sort of like stroke you like this to kind of like comfort you. It's like, oh, my child's sleeping or something like that. But I woke up in the middle of the night and I felt that touch, but on my foot, like someone was at the foot on my bed looking at me. Uh, it was really dark, so when I opened my eyes, I didn't see anything, but I could feel that someone was watching me. I just like talking about it now, it's giving me chills. So I just closed my eyes and rolled over and just like tried to go back to sleep. But that's probably the closest feeling I've had to that sort of spirit or that sort of energy. I do believe that ghosts exist. I don't think that they really operate in such a way that the movies portray, but I mean, what do I know? I've never really experienced any of that sort of thing. So that's a that about that. The next list of questions are from Eliza Asifi, who also left them down in the comments of my introduction video. So Eliza asked, can you do a live stream one day? I would love to do a live stream one day. Having said that, the last time I did a live stream was several months ago when I probably only had like 200 subscribers and I really only had one person watch who was Liz Guico. She's active here on my channel and she has her own YouTube channel as well and she's been an amazing friend to me. She's been so incredible. She was there with me on my first live stream and she went through the whole entire thing with me. I haven't done a live stream since then simply because I, I don't know, I just haven't really been set up to do it. I've been busy with filming and editing and uploading like a normal like a normal video but if you guys want to see me do a live stream then yeah I would love to do one with you guys as long as oh, there are people who want to see that then yeah sure I will leave in the comments down below if you want to see me do a live stream and we can do a Q&A we can hang out we can chat and have fun so yeah let me know if you want to see that can you make a video where you create your subscribers makeup looks guys I would love to do this. Tag me in your makeup looks on Instagram. I would love to see the makeup looks that you come up with. And if I find one that I really resonate with, then I would love to recreate that look for you. So yeah, comment down below if you wanna see me do that. Not only that, you guys, I need you to be active about this. Tag me in your makeup looks and I will recreate one of them one day in a video and possibly even make that a series if that's what you'd like to see. What's your favorite makeup brand? Um, every single brand that I have has some good things and some bad things, so I don't really have a favorite brand in and of itself. Probably the brand that I own the most things from would be Juvia's Place. I own nearly every single one of their eyeshadow palettes. I have a fair bit of ColourPop and Morphe as well. I don't really have, like I said, I don't really have a favorite brand but I do rave a fair bit about Juvia's Place. So if I had to choose a brand that was my favorite, it's probably Juvia's Place. Are you in a relationship? No. How old are you? Can you guess? 
I probably mentioned it in my videos, but honestly, can you guys guess how old I am? I want you to leave in the comments down below how old you think I am. I have had so many mixed responses to that question when I see someone says, Hey, how old are you? And I say, hey, can you guess? And some people have said 21, some people have said like 35, and I'm just like, how do you come up with these? And they say, Oh, you look young, but you behave like someone older and more mature. I'm like, okay, well then, can you guess? <laughs> Yeah, leave in the comments down below how old you think I am because I would be really interested to see what you guys think. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. I was born and raised here in Australia. My nationality is Filipino. Yeah, and I've lived in Australia all of my life. Which country do you live in? I just answered that. I live in Australia. I love living here in Australia. We are so incredibly fortunate for all the benefits and the government subsidies and the government help and the support and the infrastructure and the programs and everything else that comes with being an Australian citizen. Very, very fortunate to live here. I don't really think I could see myself living anywhere else. What do you work as? So I've been working in hospitality in full-time jobs for the last 10 years. So my first job I started out with work experience because I went and set myself to TAFE to study commercial cookery. So part of that course was doing work experience at a local cafe in town. So my teacher got me this gig at a cafe in town. I started there as work experience. They kept me on afterwards as a kitchen hand. From kitchen hand, I worked my way up to cook and then sous chef. And then at that point, I left that business and then went and worked front of house for another cafe slash delicatessen in town and I worked there for about five years, four years as a front of house assistant manager and one year as the head chef in that cafe. And then now I'm working at one of the biggest and best cafe grocers in the town that I live in. And I'm now working front of house because I have had enough of chefing. It's just too much, it's too hard. I can't do it anymore. Well, I can do it, but I don't want to do it anymore. So I work in hospitality. If that answers your question, I am at the moment, I'm a senior customer service assistant, which is basically a fancy word for a way Waitress. Oh, I don't think I'm just a waitress. I do a bit of everything really. So we have a grocery side and a retail side and then we have a cafe side. I'm rusted on both sides depending on the day. Okay, so I think that is enough for this video right here right now. I've answered a few questions. My voice is running out and I still need to film part two of this video. If I answered your question in this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you are happy with my answer. I'm always going to be 100% honest and open with the answers that I give to your questions because I mean, obviously, what else do you want? You don't want me to just fluff some bullshit and give you some answer that you could probably find on the internet. I mean, this is me. This is me, honest, 100% and trying to keep it real. Keep it real here on my channel, okay? So, um, yeah, if you guys enjoy this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions, anything you wanna ask me, you can ask me absolutely anything about any topic, whether it's cooking, whether it's makeup, whether it's lifestyle, whether it's relationships or anything, mental health, I don't know, whatever. Ask me, I'm here to help you guys. If there is anything that I can enrich your life with, then please let me know in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation with this series. This is open, this is an open forum. We can have a conversation and it's a safe place. I hope that all of you guys in the comments are kind to each other. I hope that you give your love to each other every single day. And I'm so, so thankful to have each and every one of you here in my life as part of my Kikai family. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week. So you can turn on the notification bell if you don't wanna miss any of those future uploads. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of them are life as Kikai. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And I really appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. There's a fly here and it's distracting me. Oh, when did that stop recording? No! I is completely, co implicitly, ple implicit. <coughs> question number seven, have you had any pa paranormal, question number seven, have you had any para, para, mm, no.